Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's like the 21st or something like that. Welcome to a new vlog. It is so fucking hot in here. Like, I don't understand how my heating cooling system works. Like, when I cut it on, it only stays on for like a little bit of time and then it'll cut off. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a money saving feature, but it's 80 degrees outside. I need you to stay on. Thank you. Anyway, I got like 10 minutes before I need to um, log into work. I was filming some content. Uh, I got this skirt from Naked because I wanted to recreate um, an inspo pic that I saved on Pinterest. I'm trying to lower it so y'all can see it. And then of course it's Cricut. Um, this skirt to recreate a look um, with like a baby tee. So I was trying it on with this marine skirt tee. It's a little too long. So I gotta find some good like cropped baby tees to pull off the look. And like, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Tanks too, to like pull off this like easy breezy skirt tank or like baby tee situation with like a mule or a cloth just for a super cute like summer outfit. I know y'all see it, don't even play with it. Anyway, I also got my stuff that I ordered from Janae's uh, collaboration with Target and the two vests that I ordered. I didn't come on and show y'all yesterday when I unboxed it, I can show y'all real quick before I log into work. Let me grab them, hold on. I had to come up out of that shirt, it's hot. It's a, a little t-shirt, but that black was hot anyway. Um, I just brought one out. I got it in the black and I got it in the white. Now, I have to say this, right? Because we were having a conversation on TikTok. People have been complaining about the sizing. And, you know, I told the girls last week that they need to get back in the stores. People don't know what, you know what I'm saying? Now, granted, Target stuff does run small, right? Just in general. But I think a bigger problem is people don't know, like, their size. They don't know their size in different sil silhouettes they don't know you know what i'm saying they don't know their size because nobody wants to go in the store anymore everybody wants to order online and i think it's important to get your ass in the store not just to like try on sizes because i don't think size matters you just wear what looks good on you so i'm an eight but sometimes i have to go up to a 10. i even got some 12s in my closet whatever it takes to get the look right people too hung up on like what size they wear they don't be want to go up and this isn't me discrediting like the very real issue of like size inclusiveness in the stores online and just in general i'm just saying for the most part people don't know like how different silhouettes and stuff fit on them so you don't know to order up or down for instance i was giving an example on um tiktok of how i ordered this vest i have it in both black and white i knew when i saw this because of the cinch waist that if i got true to size it was probably it, it was probably a chance that it was gonna be a little too a little too um tight in the waist area because this is where you know i'm a little thick around here <laughs> period as you can see it's puckering a little bit at the bottom um that button but that's fine because i knew that i would likely be wearing it um open like that like the bottom button just stylized anyway so it didn't matter and i knew if i went up to a 10 that i would have way too much space at the top and i wouldn't like that right but i know that because i go into the stores and i try on different silhouettes and stuff like that um to see how they would fit on my body or if i even like them on my body so i knew what would happen if i went true to size and like i knew it's it's real cinch right here but i think that look good i love how cinched in that is and funny enough the white one fits perfectly true to size so i can bottom the button the bottom button with no problem and that's probably because of the dyeing process it takes literally no time to dye a white item um they probably dip this two three times making it just a tad bit smaller um so anyway that's my soapbox i am about to log into work and do big girl things. And I will check in with y'all a little later. It's Friday, I'm on lunch. I just ran down and grabbed um, an Amazon order. I had to order some more. I need to see if this actually comes in like a bigger package because 12 it's 12 in here. I feel like I go through these. So three, six, nine, 12. So I use, this lasts me about four weeks. Like, because I only drink by the way, it's like an electrolyte drink. 
and I, I put these in my water when I go on my runs because you sweat a lot, you need to repen replenish like the salt you're like excreting out of your body. I think I might get some liquid IV too so I can have that on a daily basis. But I like these for my brother. It's so salty. And a girl that I follow on Instagram, I saw her sprinkle some of this on top of some watermelon. One thing about me, I love melon. Watermelon, honeydew melon, cantaloupe. I like melon. This shit is expensive though. This is like $25. I'm going to get some liquid IV <laughs> too. And then my uh, pre-workout, which as y'all know, I'm trying to cut it out. So I'm still only doing it like when I go on my runs. What else? I ordered something else. I ordered some salt and it ain't in here. It must, it must, it's going to come in a different package. And then I went after that yesterday and made another order but it's just for some workout bands because i want to work like the top of my glutes and i used to have like really a really not good i'm like i was about to lie and say i used to have a bomb <laughs> i did not because i have a really good cuff like naturally but the top of my ass has always been flat but i used to always specifically work on like my shelf like the top of my butt they call it like your shelf um because it's flat and I used to do a lot of um, like kickbacks and stuff on the machines at LA Fitness and we don't have one of those machines here. So I needed to get some bands um, so that I can mimic that workout. So I ordered those. And I don't know when those are coming. That, let me tell you something, it is so boring to not have packages coming. I don't have nothing to, to look forward to. Also, I just need to get on here and say, hey, because I think I've lost like one little piece for this entire vlog. Um, I do have somewhere to go at five o'clock or be at five i'll probably get there a little late because i log out of work around that time but um i'm going to like an event like a style chat event or whatever i told you i'm just really trying to like put myself out there and um not only like network with people that are doing the things that i do or whatever you know to gain a little more visibility to make some connections all of that type of stuff um but also i'm just interested in just doing things that i want to do and that interests me um and i told y'all me and the person that used to be like my road dog we don't talk no more which whatever um so i've been doing a lot of things on my own which is fine because pre-pandemic angela that's always what i did like i have a core group of friends here two of them have moved away one one has two of them have moved back to where they um are from but my other two like core group friends are still here so i have friends right but um they're married and they have children and they have jobs and they have interests of their own so we meet uh when we can but i'm the only one that you know has buku freedom and before the pandemic, I literally would be out to eat, trying new restaurants, like going to the museum. I would just do all this stuff by myself. I've never had an issue with like doing stuff by myself. Even when I was in Nashville, especially when I was in Nashville because I was driving then, I would hop in that car and be on my fucking merry way. Um, and I don't know, I just have been sort of out of that practice because I met who was my home, who used to, the girl that used to be like my homegirl, like my role dog during the uh, pandemic. And literally we did everything together. Um, but you know, back to our roots. So I'm going to the style chat today. And then there's a vintage market happening this weekend. So I'm gonna go see if I can find some glassware. <laughs> go see if I can find some little trinkets. Um, and then Tuesday is the Acne Studios uh, simple sale. So I'm also going to that. Uh, so yeah, that's really all I have planned for Z Weekend. I'm um, just checking in. Let me eat something so then I can get back to work so we can wrap this day up. I am watching my new TikTok, not TikTok, YouTube obsession. I was looking at like YouTube videos of London and Paris, just sort of getting, um, or people going to London and Paris or people like that live in like whatever. And um, I came across this girl named Alyssa N Lenore. She's a Filipina girl um, and her and her husband. I watched her London vlog the other night and I fell asleep on it. And then I've been watching like all of her other videos and I watched the Paris vlog and then I came back 
to the London vlog. So I was like, I feel asleep on London vlog. That was like my purpose. But anyway, I really like her channel. And so I'm binging that. And then I'm about to put a little bit of concealer on because I'm getting ready to head out to that style chat I was telling y'all about. And I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup just in case. Well, not just in case, it's a lot of, I'm assuming it's gonna be some like content girlies there and you know, people be having their camera out. I just don't wanna get caught in the background of somebody's photos or videos looking crazy. So I'm, this is primer. Just where I get super oily to help with the shine. I'm just using my hands. It's Lancome. They sent it to me, but I like it. What is it called? Prime and Serum 24 Hour Hydrating Solid Smoothing Primer. That's what I'm gonna use. Anyway, I'm about to cut that back on. Y'all can watch. I'll put some music or something over y'all, but I need to. <laughs> I make my hair appointment tomorrow. Oh my God. He doesn't know. <laughs> Well, Marco's TBD on when he wants to, but we did walk around the Knightsbridge area. Oh, that's because I got shit all over my hands. How did I do that? B? Quick outfit. I need to head out in a minute. Um, I ended up wearing the black vest from Janae's collaboration with Target. And then let me lower y'all down a little bit. I really need to dig that tripod out. I say that every time, but, and now y'all crooked. <laughs> I don't know where it's at, if I'm being honest. I might just buy a new one because I cannot be bothered. Anyway, I put on this Massimo Duty skirt. The button came off and I went to get it like fixed. And when I went to get it fixed, I had them, it used to fit like this where the button was right up here, but I had them make the button looser, like put it over further. So this part would hang down more. So it would be like a separation there. I think that makes the skirt more interesting. Anyway, and then I just put on these Schutz ballet flats um, because y'all know my toes still not done in. I would have loved to wear like a heeled mule or something like that, but. And then I'm gonna carry my Nano Antigona, my Givenchy bag, and just throw on some black sunnies. I was saying, cause I filmed the TikTok before this, I was saying how when I go to London and um, in my stopover in Paris, like my only goal for like to buy, like I don't plan on shopping at all. The only thing that I am going to buy is probably a bag. I would love to get my Bottega bag, but I'm just, you know, that would be fiscally irresponsible. But you know, you never know, we'll see. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna get ready and head out. I just wanted to show y'all my outfit. And this is how the makeup turned out. Y'all know me. It's li it's literally no makeup. Makeup. I do need to go let that lady clean my brows up again. Um, But yeah. And my Saint Laurent lippy, which I'm obsessed with lately. I haven't worn red lip in so long because it installed my heart. It just is what it is. Anyway, okay, let me, let me go. So I'm back home. As you can see, I have on a red lip. I didn't leave with a red lip. That's because I, um, there was a lady there. She was, she does, she has like her own lip gloss. Why well, can't I talk? Or lipstick. And um, I tried on a color. She had like a blue red. And I was like, I like that, I'll buy it. Y'all know red is my signature. Specifically like a blue red. So I bought, I didn't do any vlogging or anything when I was there. I didn't even vlog for TikTok. I just was in there yapping. Certified Yapper Girl. So the brand name is Glow Getter Beauty. So she's local to Chicago, obviously, but that's the brand name, Glow Getter Beauty. I wonder if y'all can like grab the QR code right there. If you want to check it out there, go to QR code, take a picture of it. Girl, get off my hand. Anyway, um, this color is called The Artist and it's a blue red, like I said. Um. It gives me very much Ruby Woo vibes. I did put a little like orangey red in the middle of it, so it's compromised a little bit, but like originally it looked a lot like Ruby Woo. And this is the packaging, this is what it looks like. This is a mirror back here. Like if I peel that off, that's a mirror. And then it has a cute little light in here. Look at that, a little light in the mirror. <laughs> Fun set. Anyway, I bought this. It had to be like $20 because I bought something else and I ended up spending like 54 and some change, 56 and some change. So they had to be like $20, $21 because I also bought 
an instant holder. I wanted a cutesy one to sit on the TV stand. So, cause I usually, I have like a long, just a regular wood one that sits in the windowsill. But I wanted a cuter one I could sit on the TV stand and burn instant, like in the living area. I mean, it's all the living area, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I bought this cute little instant stand. See, it's some lips. You just put the instant in it and it sits in there and burn. And I like this because I feel like it'll catch all the little stuff, whereas that long wooden one doesn't. And this was $19. So that's why I said that lip gloss had to be 20 something. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I picked up from the little outing today. This is a cute bag. I'm going to keep that. Then I got some more Amazon packages. I mentioned earlier that I had some Amazon packages coming in. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, my arm look good. Um, I ordered some resistant bands. I told y'all. I ordered two kinds. So I just ordered like... If I can get it open, I'll show y'all. Where they? They, they packaged this up. They, yeah, they did. Um, hold on. So I just got these kind here. So when I'm doing like squats or like, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. So I bought these and it comes in three, a medium, this is light and then a heavy. So I bought those and then I also bought, tomorrow gonna be a good glue day. That's all I gotta say. And then I bought this long black one so I can loop it around one of the machines downstairs. So you just loop it like this around the machine and tie it into like a knot so it won't snap on you. Like that around the machine and knot. And then my foot will go in this part and then I can do my like leg raises to get the top of that glue bridge I was telling y'all about. So I got this kind as well. And then I got one more thing. This is my salt. I told y'all I had ran out of salt and I had been using pink Himalayan sea salt to season food. And it's just my personal opinion that that's good for like like after it's done if you want to like top it with some little salt but like it don't flavor food the way that I like salt flavor so I be needing some real coarse salt I don't do a lot of cooking but when I do do some cooking I like it to look a specific type of way so I bought some malt and sea salt um I'm going to that vintage market tomorrow and what I'm looking for is, and this is the sea salt. This that good shit. I should have bought a big one because I'm gonna run through this so fast. Um, I'm gonna order. I'm gonna go order a big one because that ain't gonna be enough. Um, I'm looking for a cute salt, like a little one of those little salt things. I don't want to get it from Target. I want a cute one, so I'm gonna see if I can find one at the market tomorrow. But you know, like a little ball. The thing, my hands actually because I used bathroom and wash them. Um, but you slide it open, you pinch the salt, you close back up. I want one of those. And then I want a cute grinder to put some peppercorns in. And then maybe some little glasses or something. So we'll see. Anyway, that's my Amazon haul. I Oh, I brought some food. Girl, I got some food. I ordered a salad. In the Uber on the way home, I ordered a salad from a pizza place on the street. They pizza nasty. I um, don't like that. But, I mean, you can't fuck up a salad and I needed some food. Um... So I ordered it, that's the dressing. I didn't order shrimp, period. They gave me some I did not order, I ordered chicken. But anyway, it's like a, um, I don't even know what to call it because I just like made it up. But anyway, it's a salad. Got some sweet potatoes. I mean, not, that's not sweet potatoes, those are croutons, pepper, salami, blue cheese, um, some sunflower seeds, and then some shrimp right here. Anyway, that's it. I am going to clean up this mess I just made on this floor. Sit on the couch, eat this salad, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. I need to wash my face, but what is on my forehead? What is that? What is that? Oh, that's hot.
Happy Saturday. It's a lot later in the morning. It's one o'clock actually. It's not even morning anymore. It's afternoon. Um, I just got done getting dressed. I am about to head out to that like vintage market I was telling y'all about, like vintage style market. Um, it's gonna be like food and music and a bunch of different like booths and stuff like that. So I don't have any plans to buy anything. I just wanna not be in the house. Um, so I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing. I'm probably making the dumbest mis decision that I've ever made in my life, but we gonna roll with it. We'll deal with the consequences of our actions. Anyway, I just have on this oversized rude t-shirt, these Zara shorts that are super old and too little, cause look how they smashed my booty, girl. I don't work that hard on my butt for it to be smashed up by these shorts, but I literally only have this pair and like a pair of a Goldie shorts. I'm like, I don't have any like summer, I don't do summer, so I'm not surprised. Anyway, I put them on, but I gotta give me another pair of denim shorts because I cannot breathe, okay? And then why I said that I probably am making the dumbest mistake of my life is I have on these Marant boots because I was like, oh, I can break those Marant boots in. Also, this will probably be my only chance to wear them outside of like taking them to Nashville. Um, and, uh, cause I said I was taking them to Europe. I don't know why I said that, that's a lie. Um, yeah, so this will probably be my only time to like wear them until October. Um, and they need breaking in because they are so tight around the toe part. So I figured since I'm doing a little walking, it'll break them in. Um, I should just get them stretched like I said I was going to. But here I am playing with my toes right now. Um, and also, I need the bottom of them to get scratched up because they're so slippery right now. Anyway, this is the outfit. I'm trying to convince myself that my toes are not going to be completely wrecked after this, but they probably are. I have literally have band-aids on both big toes, both baby toes, and the toes next to the big toe. Girl, anyway, y'all play for me. I'm going to put on some sunnies. I'm going to call me an Uber. I need to find a place close to the market and then I can walk the rest of the way. But I'm gonna call an Uber and I'm gonna get out of here because I don't wanna be out that long. I just wanna get out the house. I could be back home by four o'clock, honestly, and be happy with myself. Like I did something with my day. So I'm gonna head out. I just was checking in. Of course, I'll vlog on my phone. So there's that.
so I'm back from the market. I actually had a really good time. I'm sure I put footage in before this of um, videos I took at the market, but I wanted to show y'all the stuff that I got that I ended up getting in like a little haul because I'm about to wash it. It's so nasty. I'm about to wash it, but I figured I'd show y'all what I got first. Uh, the first thing is, I didn't chip this already. The first thing, or it might have been already chipped, but whatever. I got this set of four of glasses. I tried to talk to talk her into letting me get two, but, um, she wouldn't sell them separately. So I got a set of four of these glasses. It's just a glass inside of, like, this plastic holder. And I got them, one, because I thought they were cute, but two, I thought, um, they would be good for drinking coffee out of, because, you know, sometimes you'll drink out of your coffee mug and the coffee is so hot the handle is even hot but i figured with these plastic ones it wouldn't be um wouldn't be so hot also these are kind of big i can have a big old glass of coffee in the um, morning the next set i got is this two these two um two these two i got <laughs> i love these and they are so freaking heavy like i think she said they were like 1950s like vintage glass anyway she was selling them for like a set of eight for 50 i was like sis i don't need eight glasses i'm like how many can, can i get two and at first she was like no nah. i was like two you sell me a set of two she was like yeah i'll do two or four whatever so i'm like yeah how much for two so i got both of these for 12.50 i love these i think these are my favorite well maybe the first ones are maybe these are my favorite either way i like them both and then I ended up getting um, these two. These were actually the first that I picked up. Um, one of the first things that I saw when I walked in there and I immediately bought them and I got these two for um, $14. And these are gonna be good for juice or even champagne, whatever. So I spent $14 on those. I spent $12.50 on those. And then for the four, because I got a set of four of these, I spent $22. So that was my little haul. I'm about to wash these. And I'm probably going to run to Target. And then I'm gonna come home and chill for the rest of the night. Update on the boots. Child. What my feet they my feet was fine. They were fine. And then when it was time to come home, it was time to come home. So yeah. Until those I'm gonna go get them stretched. Cause mm-mm. Mm-mm. Until those things are good and worn in worn in and like stretched out. I can't wear them for like not when I'm gonna be walking. Not, no, 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 we're not doing that, we're not doing that. And it was just, they don't hurt my feet, but it's just like my feet felt smashed. Uh, I was very uncomfortable. Anyway, that's the haul. I'm gonna wash these glasses. I'm gonna run to Target and um, get like Udi's, some uh, milk. Yes, it's milk. I need some um, butter. All that little stuff that I done ran out of, I'm gonna go grab that because I can't get it from Trader Joe's, obviously. Um, yeah, so I will talk to y'all later. My eyes burning. Woo! Good morning, happy Sunday. Y'all know what time it is. I'm getting ready for my run. I've been up for a minute though. I actually been like making a morning routine TikTok. Let me cut the fan on, it's hot in here, hold on. So anyway, as I was saying, I've been up for a little bit. I've been up for a while, I've been up since like, 6 30 6 40 7 o'clock i'm lying it was seven o'clock um but i decided i'll go run maybe like 9 9 15 it's 8 33 now it's supposed to rain today so i need to get my tail out there because um i don't really be trusting the weather app anyway but i got up and i started filming like a morning routine like a sunday morning routine because i'm trying to like recalibrate my freaking page because i made that video about um disassociating from my sorority and the crazy thing is it got a million views i've never had a video that got a million views <sighs> but that is not what like and i got so many followers from that and that is not what i i don't want people to expect that kind of shit on my page all the time so i'm trying to recalibrate i need to y'all don't even be doing get ready with me it's like that but i did have stuff to do so i typically do them when I have stuff to do, so I probably would have done them anyway, but baby, I've been trying to, I'm like, Angela, just post. We gotta make it like the 10th post down, cause please. Anyway, so um, I was doing to get ready with me. I mean, uh, yeah, a morning routine. Um, not just to try to like, turn down the noise on that post, but just in general, because I am, I don't know. I just am in a 
like posting mood I guess I don't know I'm trying to get myself to really go in like really just do the damn thing my hands are always ashy when I come on here just a little water a little bit but anyway I feel I've, I was thinking this oh it's peanut butter on there I was thinking this morning how I could feel God pushing me like pushing me to like do some things and the problem is one of the main things he pushing me to do I do not want to do like I like I'm not ready but I feel like that the mental gymnastics that that thing like the the time that I spend thinking about that thing and you know all of that type of stuff be using that energy for something else and I feel like God is pushing me to get rid of <laughs> he's been pushing me it's been years I was looking back in my camera roll on my phone and I was looking at the trip that I went to um, when I went to New York this was 2022 with my homegirl for a baby shower and I remember being so fucking sad I was so sad y'all I have never been I have never been that sad in my adult life and well since my me having to transfer schools since me getting put out of school and sort of the fallout from that I have never been that sad in my adult life okay maybe with the exception of my brother going to, to prison but after that I have never been that sad in my adult life and I've had three adult relationship breakups right with people that I loved y'all I like and it was just like a um I can't explain it like I cannot explain it it wasn't like the true definition of heartbreak or what like I associated heartbreak with because I've never experienced somebody that just like drug me through the mud and just like downright mistreated me or anything like that. I wasn't mistreated in the situation. It wasn't, I can't really say without saying too much. Y'all know how I am about my business, but I will tell you this. I was sad as fuck on that. I remember because we went together, we shared a room. This is, a, this is also why I can't share no room. I need my own goddamn room because I literally was in the bed. Obviously, it was two beds in a row, but I literally was in the bed and like quiet crying, like trying to like not let her hear me crying. And I was so just like disoriented and just out of it, but I was trying to be present in the moment because I didn't want her to notice up something wrong with me because she wasn't the type of um, friend that I would have that type of conversation with. Um, not saying she was a terrible friend. I just have designated friends that I have those kind of conversations with that I feel safe. Um, that I feel like it's a safe space without judgment. Not that I don't feel safe with all my friends, but you, let's be real. Some friends you just can't talk to about certain shit. But she definitely wasn't that safe space friend for me or whatever. Um, it is what it is. So I was fucking... Man... So I said I was gonna say God told me then. He told me then. He told me then. He was telling me then. Cause like how your stomach hurt this bad over a situation when you literally packed up your whole life, moved to a new city, and it didn't last for 10 minutes. And your ass was just like, oh well, and like just tried it along. Like you just was like, oh, that didn't work out. And then you just went on with your life. You've been with somebody for six years on and off. That ended and you just was like, oh well. He was with somebody for two years. I was head over heels in love with the dude that I was with for two years. That motherfucker woke up one day and decided he was done and I never heard from him again. And I just was like, oh well, that happened. But you in New York in the bed, balled up, literally crying in silence because your friend can't, don't, does it over. Girl, that's crazy. Anyway. <laughs> oh, girl. Anyway, I need to quit yapping. Mm. and finish this oh I used my cup this morning look 
so cute. I made some coffee before this. Perfect. This was the perfect buy for this. And I'm burning a little incense right now. I need some more incense. Where do y'all buy y'all incense from? I'm using my little incense holder I got. That was out the other day I showed y'all. Hold on, let me show y'all. I didn't cut that damn fan on and it's blowing. I didn't. That was not smart, B. Let me cut that damn fan off. It's getting over my thing. But anyway, uh, this is a little incense holder that I picked up when I was out the other day. Where do y'all get y'all incense from? I need some more. That was my last one. Okay, let me quit playing. I have to go. I need to get out on this run. I'm mad because it's about to ruin my hair. And I just washed it. I washed it. I don't think I vlogged it, but I washed it. Girl, look at how this sew in move. I need to take it out. I'm gonna take it out this upcoming weekend because my appointment is on the 6th. That don't make no sense. Look at that. Um, I washed it, I think, Thursday night. Thursday, Thursday morning after the gym. I'm about to ruin it. Look at that. <laughs> this little corner be looking crazy sometimes. Let me straighten this up real quick before I let y'all go. I did order some more hair. Um, I ordered it from that same place. These shorts. Oh, I renewed my passport this morning too. It doesn't expire until March of 2025, but I just watched something the other day where somebody was like, remember, why are y'all always crooked? Hold on. Um, I was watching a, a video the other day and they reminded me like, remember to renew your passport six months before it expires. I was like, let me go ahead and do that shit right now. Because one thing about me, I'm gonna forget. Um, anyway, somebody asked me like, where do you store your purses? I'm like, what purses? I got like four bags, <laughs> like total. But I was saying, I think on TikTok, maybe, um, how I wanna buy a bag when I'm in Paris, London or Paris, either one, it really don't matter. Um, I haven't been saving properly because if I was saving properly, I would just go, oh, I wonder if they open today. I need to go pick up them um, pens out the cleaners. I'm gonna do that today too if they're open. Um, the little bands that I bought from Amazon, I used them yesterday. Um, what was I about to say? What was I saying, y'all? Oh, my boobs look good. Uh, <laughs> that's because this boss bra I got on too tight. Please, it's pushing them up. Um. I lost my train of thought. I don't I don't remember what I was saying to y'all. So I'm just gonna move on, move on to the next, to the next. I ordered another bundle of hair um, from where I got this hair from, my bob hair, because I'm gonna go, girl, why is this so hard to get open? I'm gonna go a little longer uh, with the bob. And so I ordered a 14 inch, cause I had bought I'm trying to hide my address. <laughs> I bought three 12 inch bundles last time because I knew I was getting a short bob, but I'm gonna get more of a lob. So I ordered a 14 to go at the bottom. So he'll have more room to cut from. This is where I get the hair from, same as last time. And I think I spent maybe a hundred and some change after tax and shipping. It was maybe like $90 uh, for the bundle. But I just went and got a 14 inch bundle, like I said, to go at the bottom. So he'll have more room to um, like cut to leave length from. And this is the rest of the hair from last time. So last time I ordered three bundles and I only used a bundle. And then I had, I wouldn't say a bundle and a half, but I used a bundle, a full bundle. And then this was what was left from the second bundle. So. Shit, this look like the same length. Don't it? Well, no, that's a, the 14 is a little longer. So anyway, this is what I will be taking to my hair appointment. <sighs> Let me put this little clip back on it. That's how I was preserving it. <laughs> Listen, it's always better to be safe than sorry. I'm always going to take some extra hair. Just because it took a bundle and a half the last time don't mean it's gonna take a bundle and a half this time. So, better safe than sorry. Anyway, that's clean. I gotta go, y'all. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I'm just chatting. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. We need to go to the store. We need to go to Target. We need to go to Trader Joe's.
Girl, the girls are fighting on TikTok. Baby, let me mute this. Hold on. Clear because I don't want y'all to have me fucked up. I stand on what I say. Oop, oop. Anyway, it's still Sunday. Yeah, it's still Sunday. <laughs> I'm all over the place. It's still Sunday, and I just came from Target. I had to make myself get out of the bed because I was gonna not go. But I needed to get my. I need to look and see if Trader Joe's gonna be open tomorrow. I couldn't do Trader Joe's and Target. But I went ahead and went to start because I need some paper towels. One. And a couple other things. And then, like, my, like, name brand staple stuff, I either get from Whole Foods or Target, depending on if I'm shopping at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's for the week, depending on how lazy I'm being. So, um, I need to see if Trader Joe's going to be up tomorrow. Anyway, um, y'all, I don't, I don't know if I slept wrong. And so, hold on, no, let me straighten it up. I don't know if I slept wrong and it's just my neck is sore from me sleeping wrong, but like it hurt to touch. And I'm I'm low-key being a hypochondriac. I'm like, what does that mean? So I keep going and going to the mirror to check and see <laughs> to check and see if I see any like swollenness, a lump. I keep like feeling my neck, girl. Oh, it hurt. I'm trying not to Google nothing because I don't want to freak myself out. But um, hopefully I just slipped on the wrong because it hurt bad. And it was it was hurting before I went on my run, so it's not the run. Anyway, I got some toilet wand. I like to clean my toilet, the bowl with these things. So I got some refills, because I think I got like one left. Some butt wipes. Girl, stay down there then. Some toothpaste. And then some paper towels. And that's all the household stuff I got. And then I'm being lazy. I got a uh, frozen pizza. That's what I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight because I wasn't sure if I was gonna go live or not. I think I am though, I ain't doing shit else. And I'm gonna work tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna go live. I picked up these Cleveland Chick, Cleveland Kitchen Kimchi Pickles. We gonna taste those together in a minute. I'm tired, I'm about to have some coffee. I'm about to eat a kimchi pickle and then taste some, have some coffee. I'm be food up. Anyway, and then my staples that I was mentioning is my almond milk. So I like the Califia Forms uh, or Califia Forms unsweetened almond milk. My Udi's bread. I like to make breakfast sandwiches with that or just like eat it as toast. Um, my almond flour wrap. These are so good. If you like brown them in a pan, they be so crispy and good. You put your eggs in it. Tastes so good. Oh. Oh. And then my butter and my eggs, child. And that the crazy thing is, that's like $50 of my like $120 that I spend maybe on a weekly basis. And that ain't even, I mean, there's no food. Like... <laughs> Girl, anyway, I'm going to put this up and then we're going to taste these pickles real quick. Girl, stop yelling at me. Hold on. That's the oven. I'm cutting the oven on because I'm going to go ahead and make this pizza. And then I think I have that blue that blue cheese I bought last weekend from the farmer's market. I need to use it before it go bad. So I think I'm going to crumble some of that on here too. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cook that. Let me wash my hands so we can taste these pickles. One second. All right, one thing about me, I love kimchi and I love pickle. So, in my mind, this is a good combination. Open it how, bro? Do I just break it up? Oh, pull it down, Angela. Are you, sh are you sure you smart? I am going to get my nails done. I think they didn't got long enough where I can get an overlay. So it's time. It's time. I actually might just wait until um, my trip. That's what I'm going to do, actually. Because I only got like a couple weeks. 
And if I get them done now, then I'm gonna need them done by the time it's time to go to Nashville. That don't even make sense. Anyway, let's taste this pickle. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all know I'm like smacking in y'all ear on here, but I'm gonna have one more on camera. Y'all, I got these from Target. I don't know if this is like a local brand, but mm, mm, mm. they're not spicy. I thought it was gonna be spicy because the package red. I'm not a really big spice person anyway, but a little spice on this would be good. But these, okay, and Joe, don't eat them all. My pizza is in the oven. I'm gonna make a quick iced coffee with y'all. So that's the only way I'm gonna make it through. <laughs> I'm gonna make it through anybody's live. I'm exhausted. Um, and then I'm gonna let y'all be. I'm gonna let y'all be for the day. I'm gonna lay around until six. I usually go live at six p.m. I had a little coffee left from my coffee this morning. We are gonna use that. We don't waste no coffee over here, okay? Ooh, I didn't realize I had that much espresso. I'm not even gonna dilute that with water. I'ma just drink the espresso. I'ma be in this bitch wired. That's a lot of espresso. I mean, it's some ice in there, but still. Then I'ma put milk in there. That'll dilute it some. Throw it away. Actually, it's a little corny now. We're gonna say that. <laughs> and then because I didn't go to Trader Joe's last week, I ended up getting this Chobani. This is my favorite like non Trader Joe's creamer got a lot of uh, sugar in it so I prefer not to be buying this one but it is what it is and that's my iced coffee recipe girl I be seeing people make iced coffee on um TikTok it don't be number sugar and syrup that's good this is plenty of sweetener how many, oh, how much, how many grams of sugar is this? Girl, serving size is only one tablespoon. I definitely put, put more than that in here. Where's the sugar? Where's the sugar? Where's the sugar? I'm trying to give y'all five grams of sugar per teaspoon is crazy. See, that's why I like buying this. But I also don't make iced coffees every day, so. And I don't like the way that tastes in hot coffee, so I usually just drink my hot coffee uh, black. So, yeah. That's my iced coffee. I'm gonna drink this, wait on that pizza to be done. Scroll to Tiki Talk, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow, cause we off. <laughs> I look crazy. Why do I look crazy? Anyway, I just got back from Trader Joe's. Uh, and it was chilly, but it was hot. But it was chilly, but it was hot. Like I had this wrapped around my, like this, just in case I got like super cold in the store. But it got cold as I was like walking, so I put it on. Maybe when I was walking back, it wasn't so cold. As y'all can see, my hair didn't puffed up. Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna do a whole haul because it's literally the same shit I buy like all the time. But I did get some new stuff. Well, this isn't new, but this is seasonal and I love this popcorn. People hate it. I think it tastes so good. So of course I grabbed a bag. Ooh, don't, don't trip off that. What else I get? I think I got some like probiotic sodas to try of theirs. They in here somewhere. Oh, I got me some cantaloupe. Cause I saw a girl squeeze some lemon. I love melon, I told y'all that. But I saw a girl squeeze some lemon and put like some coarse sea salt on her cantaloupe. And I was like, oh baby, yes. So I got that. This is just normal stuff. I stopped at the coffee shop and got a couple bags of kettle chip. Because I was gonna go to Tito's, to Tito's, <laughs> Toto's, and get my favorite like um, tortilla chips. But I keep forgetting it's Memorial Day, so that my shirt all stretched out like a little dirty kid. Like, girl, first of all, please. Um, Toto's was closed. I keep forgetting it's, and then I stopped by the cleaners to get my jeans, and they were also closed. And I'm like, Angel, it's Memorial Day, child. They don't want to work either. So. Damn, that kind of went flat. How'd it go flat that quick? 
Probably because it was in my bag and I was walking and been sloshing around. But anyway, um, these these cereal taste like absolutely nothing. But I like to add bananas in them in the morning and eat it after the gym. Oh, here go those uh, juice or drinks I was trying to show y'all. They have a tangerine probiotic, like sparkling drink. And then they also got a ginger lemon. So I'm gonna try those at some point. I always get got by something new at Trader Joe's. I think that's all. I keep trying to see if they have, um, I saw a girl on TikTok, they had canned octopus. You know, canned fish is like all the rage right now. And I love me some octopus. And she like made the canned octopus with some like olive oil. It looks delicious. So I was like, damn, I want to try that. I have not been able to find it at my Trader Joe's, so. Anyway, I think that's it for the vlog. I'm not about to do nothing. I don't have no barbecue invites. I don't have none of that. So I'm about to sit and edit this and watch YouTube and chill for the rest of the day. I don't got nothing going on. And then I'll start to, like next week's vlog with um, the acne sale. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this and get it ready to be posted tomorrow, the 28th. And I will talk to y'all in the next one. I need to put these groceries up. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all the things across social media platforms. I actually been doing pretty well on Instagram, which I'm just like, Instagram is trying to prove me wrong. All that shit I've been talking about Instagram, you literally only have to post. If you post, the people will come. I'm learning. I don't wanna talk about it. Don't say I told you nothing. But I appreciate y'all so much for following me. And I will talk to y'all in the next one.